All right, so section 2.4 is Venn diagrams with three sets and verification of equality of sets. Okay, so what we're going to be doing here in 2.4 is in 2.3, we would have a Venn diagrams where we had an overlap of two sets and we would talk about the intersection, the union. Now we're going to talk about, talk about what happens when we have three sets involved, okay? So when we have three sets, we're going to have eight regions. So using Roman numerals, this is region one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the side outside would be over here. This is going to be region eight, okay? So let's take a look. If I kind of scroll down here, and let's take a look. It says, uh, our first problem says a Venn diagram contains three sets, A, B, and C, as shown. If region five contains nine elements, and there are 15 elements in B intersection C, how many elements belong in region six? Okay, so let's figure out what it's telling me here. Okay, so it says if region five, so this is region five, there's nine elements in here. So the number there is gonna be nine, okay? And it says if there's 15 elements in the intersection of B and C, so I'm going to mention something here. Guys, the intersection, let me use a different color here. The intersection of B and C is going to be this piece right here, okay? So in this blue region, this blue region kind of looks like a football, okay? In this blue region here, there's a total of 15 elements, okay? We already know that there's nine right there. The question is asking us, how many are we going to have over here? Okay, so there's a total of 15, okay, and one of them already has 9. How much would be in the other region? All we need to do is subtract 9 from both sides, and 15 minus 9 should give us 6. That's how many elements we're going to have in that piece, just to give you an idea. That piece right there, that's going to have 6, because the whole thing is going to have 15, okay? All right, so let me scroll down to the next one, and let's take a look here, see what we have, and it says the chart below shows the most popular vacation destinations booked at a certain travel agency in 2003, 2004, and 2005. Okay, uh, let's see. So it says, here's my problem. Oops, here we go. It's doing this business again. Hold on, guys. Let me pause this real quick. Okay, I think we're working again. Here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it says, using the Venn diagram to the right to indicate which region 1 through 8 uh, Antigua belongs. Okay. So let's take a look here and see if we can't figure this out. Antigua does fall in 2003. Okay. It does not fall in 2004, but it does fall in 2005. So I want to find the region that has both 2003, 2005, but does not have 2004. So if I were to look at this, guys, here's 2003, here's 2005, but I don't want 2004. We would be looking at that region there, and that would be region 4, right? Okay. All right, let's take a look at the next one here. And let's see, it says several friends were planning a party and needed a plan of where to eat. Uh, or what to eat, I'm sorry. They wrote down the kinds of pizza they like. Use the Venn diagram to determine which region each friend belongs to. The set labeled pepperoni represent, uh, represents the friends who like pepperoni pizza and so on. And it says, in which region should Kara be placed? Okay, so let's first find Kara. So Kara is right here. Okay. So Kara likes pepperoni. She likes cheese, but she does not like mushroom. Okay. So if we were going to find pepperoni and cheese, but no mushroom, Kara be, would be in region two, right? Here's pepperoni, here's cheese, but no mushroom, right? Okay. And let's see. <clears throat> let's do one more. Let's actually do two more. So let's figure out 
where Sylvia would be. Okay. So Sylvia is right here. Oops. Oh, come on. Keeps doing this nonsense. Hold on, guys. Okay, I think it's working now. Here we go. So here's Sylvia. Sylvia does not like pepperoni. She does not like cheese. But she does like mushroom. So Sylvia would be right here. And that's going to be in region 7. Okay. And we're going to do one more. We're going to look at Todd. Okay. Todd. Okay. Todd does not like pepperoni. Todd does not like cheese. Todd does not like mushroom. So Todd would actually be in region 8. Boo, Todd. Nobody's going to invite Todd to that party. All right. So let me keep scrolling along here, see what we have. All right. So let's take a look at the next one here. It says, use the Venn diagram shown to list the set B in roster form. Okay. So I'm going to use my red pen just so we can see this a little bit better. But guys, this is my set B. Okay, remember, we want to list this in roster form. So remember what roster form is. Roster form is going to make a list here, okay? I'm going to put all my numbers in. So it looks like in B we have 7, 8, 9, 13, and 14. And there's my set B, okay? Uh, let's take a look at... The next one we have here. Okay, so it says use the Venn diagram to determine the roster form of set A. Excuse me. Okay, so let's take a look at A. So everybody inside this circle is in set A. Okay, so I'm going to go 2 and 5 and 7 and 9 and 13. 14, and that's everybody that's inside the set A, right? Okay. Alrighty. Okay. <clears throat> the next problem here says, uh, use the Venn diagram to determine the roster form of A intersection B. Okay. So, guys, here's the set A. Okay. That's everybody that's in set A. This is everybody that's in set B. If we're going to find A intersection B, what we're doing is we're looking for where did those two circles overlap? Well, they overlap right here. So we're going to have 11, 12, and 13. That's where those two circles overlap, right? All right. Okie dokie. So let me come back up. Here we go. There we go. Okay, so De Morgan's Laws for Sets. Okay, so De Morgan's Laws, the way I'm going to sort of read this piece here, guys, this is A intersection B complement, and this is A complement union B complement, okay? And the way I would read this one would be A union B complement is the same thing as A complement intersection B complement. There we go. All right. <clears throat> so let's take a look what we're having to do here. First off, I'm going to kind of put my box. There we go. Okay. So the directions here say use a Venn diagram to show the set A intersection B complement in roster form. Okay. So remember what A intersection B is, right? A intersection B would say here's the circle A. Okay. And here's the circle B. So where do those two circles overlap? Those two circles overlap right here. That's their overlap, right? But we're not necessarily looking for that. We're looking for the complement of that, which means we want everybody except for where those two circles overlap. So we want all the numbers except 6 and 12. So what we're going to do here, let's see, A intersection B, complement is going to be all the numbers except 6 and 12. So we're going to go 3, 4, 5. That's a 
rough looking five. Let me fix that. Five. Oh, uh, let's see. Seven, eight, ten, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, and seventeen. Okay. Good. All right. So <clears throat> now let's take a look at the next one. So it says use the Venn diagram. Uh, to determine the roster form of A union B complement. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing we did a little while ago. So here's my circle A, right? Everybody in this circle. Okay. Here's my circle B, everybody in that circle. Now, guys, there's a difference here. The one we did a little while ago was the intersection. This is the union. The union means I want everybody that was in those two circles, okay? Now that's what the union would look like, okay? but we're not necessarily finding the union. We are finding the complement of the union. So the complement of the union would say, you see all those things that we highlighted? We want everything except for those that are, have been highlighted. Well, the only ones we got left oops, are 11 and 12. Okay. All right. So there's one more problem here in 2.4, and it says, <clears throat> excuse me, apply uh, De Morgan's law, which is what we have right up here, and it says to show that A intersection B complement is the same thing as A complement union B complement for these sets. Okay, so I'll tell you the first thing we're going to do. Let's first find A intersection B. If we're going to find A intersection B, what we're going to do is we're going to say, let's look at A, let's look at B, and let's figure out where do they, what numbers do they have in common. It looks like the numbers that they have in common are 3 and 6. So here's 3 and 6, okay? Now, note what we really want to find. We're not really looking for A intersection B, we're looking for A intersection B complement. So if we're looking for A intersection B complement, remember what I'm going to do. I'm going to come back to my universal set. I'm going to say I'm going to pick all the numbers in here as long as they're not 3 and 6. So if I take away 3 and 6, then what we're left with is 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, and 8. Okay? There's the complement. So again, guys, Think about, number when we did order of operations, we have to do what's on the inside of the parentheses first. That's why the first thing I had to do was find A intersection B, because then I can find the complement, all right? Okay, so I'm just going to clean up some of this mess here. And now for the next part, what we're going to find, we're going to find A complement, okay? A complement. So let's find A complement. So again, remember how we find A complement. I'm going to come back to universal set here. I'm going to say I want all the numbers in here as long as they're not 1, as long as they're not 2, as long as they're not 3, and as long as they're not 6. So the numbers that I'm left with are the numbers 4, 5, 7, and 8. Okay. Now, I'm going to do the same thing for the B complement. So I'm going to say, okay, look, let's find B complement. Okay. Before I find B complement, we clean that up. Let's find B complement. So to find B complement, I'm going to say I want all the numbers here in the universal set. As long as those numbers aren't 3 or 6 or 7. Okay? So B complement would be the numbers 1, 2, 4, 5, and 8. Okay? Now, last step. The last step says... Let's find the union of those two sets, okay? So we're going to find A complement, union B complement. Remember what the union means again, guys. The union means I'm going to take this set here and this set here. I'm going to combine them together. I don't need to repeat elements if they, if they repeat, okay? I don't need to put it twice. So what do we need? We need a 1. We need a 2. A 4. A 5. We need a 7. 
and we need an 8. Okay? Now, <clears throat> now that we did that, let me just, there we go. Now let's take a look. What was it asking us to do? It was asking us to show that A intersection B complement was the same thing as A complement union B complement. Well, look what we just found. Let me get a better pen. Let's go with green. There we go. Look, here was our A intersection B complement. We found it right there. And then we found A complement union B complement right here. And if you notice, they're exactly the same. That's what it was asking us to do, okay? And that is 2.4.